In previous video you saw me preparing surface uh, for uh, spraying um, anti-chip. The type of anti-chip that I'll um, uh, choose to use is Gravitex. Um, Gravitex made by Upol. And at the very beginning I decided, before I even uh, tried to spray it on, I decided to run a little experiment uh, with intention to spray Gravitex through the no normal, just standard spray gun. Uh, and uh, to see whether I can get really fine finish uh, that will enable to have a very nice even surface underneath the paintwork because this uh, anti-chip is actually overpaintable. So, um, in order to achieve a nice finish, what I thought I thought you know, if I heat it up in the in the bucket which is full of uh, hot water, if I heat up the actual material, it should be much more thinner and it should go easier through the the actual spray gun and what I the conclusion I came to is um, at the whole hassle of heating it up is not actually worth anything because the um, you can take relatively hot material but by the time you put it inside of a spray gun and start spraying it loses temperature quite rapidly because the spray gun made out of aluminium and the uh, aluminium is actually a uh, very thermoconductive material so it totally defeats the purpose. Plus, if you use a 2.5 millimeter um, a nozzle in a spray gun, it sprays at the room temperature, which at, at the time it was about um, 18 degrees Celsius. So the um, Gravitex sprays through that nozzle um, very easily, and uh, you can get really, really fine finish out of it. And you will be able to see it in the in the further on uh, in the project. So on this stage, you will see that I. Um, So I'm just trying to spray Gravitex through the normal gun and as I mentioned before it sprays uh, really easily and uh, very very easy to cover. I have a next door neighbor um, called Dima who is the spray cars pretty much all the time and uh, he uses Gravitex as an anti-chip solution and I've seen the results that come out of it and I quite like it so for that reason um, that's pretty much why I choose um, this kind of material and um, later on you'll see that there is several diff different application methods and two of which you will see is uh, the one that you see just now sprayed out of a standard gun and there is also a uh, quite specific gun that was designed for spraying uh, Gravitex and uh, it works on the same principle but uh, it looks slightly different and the finish that you get is a lot more different um, the finish that you get out of a gun that was uh, purposes, purposely supplied for spraying Gravitex is actually quite rough finish and uh, has quite a uh, large grain and for some reason I actually quite like it so the bottom part of this van will be actually sprayed uh, quite heavily because eventually I managed to put three layers of this uh, Gravitex in it and uh, that's after uh, having the so that the layer of a zinc material went on and then layer uh, two layers of um, primer sealer and then the Gravitex went on it and um, now you see the left hand side um, just uh, before the wheel arch you'll see there is quite a lot of damage and I presume because it's a blind spot um, somebody when the people turn and left they always hit some sort of post or uh, wall or something like this so this side is really really damaged and um, I can see the people are trying to pull it back quite a lot before but it's, it's still quite a substantial amount of uh, filler that need to go on it um, so I kind of skipped the whole process of shot blasting the whole lot as I done on the other side um, and just showing the final stage of applying the primer sealer over a zinc coating which was uh, put on the shot blasted uh, bare metal. So once the first layer of um, primer sealer was applied and um, I applied it pretty much all over 
the whole body, ins even inside of a doorstep uh, on a side door. Um, what you also see is in here, you'll see that uh, on a wheel arch, you'll see the internal gravitex from a wheel arch comes out in here, and so when we will put new gravitex on, it will overlap on itself, and this way it should be well protected um, surface area without any gaps or uh, it's like certain elements in the coating. Oh, so what? I also used the um, seam sealer by Upol as well. I, I kind of bought this product without even knowing what this thing is, and I quite liked it. So for this reason. I uh, put it underneath the step, I know it's underneath the step, however the step is vibrate when you're walking on it and it's, I prefer to have some sort of uh, um, more like resin material protecting that paint um, rather than have nothing because I've seen the paint is worn through by step. You see after a primer sealer uh, the little cavitations that you'll see the erosions due to corrosion just fill them up with the um, filler and at, at this stage it's actually showing like a correct speed 100% speed as it, as it was so it's a very very slow process mainly due to the fact that absolutely no experience at this time and uh, it was a very very first uh, paint job that I ever did at the Neko so it took a while Once I put straight edge on the side, which as I, as I mentioned is was damaged, you can clearly see how much of a gap you have and uh, all of that will need to be filled up. Um, right now when I'm looking at this video, I'm having second thoughts about whether I did the right job on it or not, because I thought uh, maybe I should have used that uh, filler material with the um, glass fibers in it and uh, perhaps that would be a better uh, choice. But um, no, that's how it was done. And uh, again, uh, I can only think and make presumptions at the moment, but I th still think that it should be fine because uh, I, I don't really use that door that often and there isn't much of a movement or anything, so it shouldn't be cracking. And plus, when I was putting on, I didn't really put it all in one layer, I put it in several layers, so if there is any shrinkage, you know, it's going to be gradual rather than. Uh, one big heavy piece as you can see but there was a lot of lot of uh, material went on this part due to the fact the surface area was so big I actually got um, trouble and uh, used that as a tool and it worked out absolutely brilliant other because such a big surface area to do with the small tools that supplied the with actual filler is totally pointless, you, you can never level it off. Again, as I mentioned, if you look in the wheel arch, you'll see that bottom of wheel arch is actually covered with an anti-chip, quite heavy layer of anti-chip, so when I'm going to be spraying anti-chip on the side, it will overlap into wheel arch as well and uh, protecting those wheel arches was kind of an uh, important thing for me so it's very very m monotonous process as you can see at the moment you just basically put some filler on it and buff off excessive and shape it into the shape and then put some more filler in until you get half reasonable um, finish uh, you need to bear in mind that it's not a show vehicle or it's not a vehicle for a private user just a working van so I didn't really spend uh, you know, that amount of time and effort as uh, somebody who would be doing something that uh, people need to be, you know, like their private car or something. This is uh, the gun that's used for uh, spraying Gravitex and the Dima give me advice. You see this gun can be, the handle can be pulled, trigger can be pulled all the way in. But the best idea is to put a couple of fingers underneath it so you can actually control how much you squeeze that trigger because it depends on how much you squeeze it, it, can, it will put out more materials. So if you have light pressure, you can spray quite light. If you have quite a lot of um, 
if you squeeze it quite a lot, the more material will come out of a gun. And try it first on a piece of the cardboard or something, and it's actually very, very easy to control and spray. Again, the speed was uh, the speed in this video was actually increased to about eight times, so you'll see that uh, everything goes really, really fast. But uh, in reality, it took a little longer. Um, so I took a little closer here, so you can actually see the finish. And this is sprayed in real time. So you can see the the finish in the, um, the surface finish that you get out of the spray in Gravitex from a gun that was actually designed for it. And as I mentioned before, I actually quite like this finish. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it on the whole vehicle. I even thought about that, but um, I certainly quite liked it in this part. So somebody came along and they, they had a machine that uh, used ultrasound to test thickness of the uh, paint and what we figured out that um, the paint thickness on the bottom after I finished spraying or Gravitex uh, and the, the whole color and so on eventually was uh, 2 millimeter, and the thickness of the paint on the sides of the van uh, was 0 0.76 millimeter and um, the areas like a bonnet which I sprayed with a um, just with a normal um, spray gun but still sprayed Gravitex with a normal spray gun to give a much more smoother finish and that sort of that thickness um, the bonnet is actually one millimeter to give you idea the door that I purchased from um, for a side door it was uh, brand new I uh, basically bought it from a company who does refrigeration systems and they install their own doors on their vans that they're um, uh, producing cell. So that door was literally brand new. Nobody never used it. And the pain sickness on that door, manufacturer, you know, ju just supply by manufacturer, it was 0 0.13 of a mil. So you can see it's quite a substantial difference and it kind of makes sense why these vans are actually so rusty. And um, what you also see in here that um, there is a black Gravitex gray area and then there is a white uh, original paint from manufacturer. So what actually happens is I will paint, so I will put tape on the Gravitex and I will knock off this gray part and the rest of the white um, with a shot blast. So I will have overlapping area. This way I can ensure that I'm not going to miss any parts. So I know it's going to be shot blasted and properly with the, with the zinc coating. And that's pretty much final finish how uh, Gravitex looks. Now, at this stage you can see that I started um, taking off part on the rest of the van, the side panel. And uh, that's again quite a slow process but um, I thought it's better to do it because underneath the paint there is a millions of different cracks and the spiders that even uh, damages like this so you saw the disc in the grinder I used that disc to take everything off I don't think it was the best choice because the disc uh, and the friction from the disc created the heat and the very big panels like what I have in the van they got a little bit of a distortion so I had to fill up quite a lot. But now you can see the paint is actually knocked off and uh, I'm pretty much ready for shot blast.